have a deal, Mr. Reagan? You know, I know this steak doesn't exist. I know that when I put it in my mouth, the Matrix is telling my brain that it is juicy and delicious. After nine years, you know what I realize? <sighs> Ignorance is bliss. I remember watching this movie when I was younger, and as I got older, I started to see how they took some parts of the Bible to fulfill this movie. For instance, in this movie scene, he mentions that ignorance is bliss, which means if you do not know about something, you do not worry about it. And that reminds me of a, about a lot of people in this world today. They would rather not know and continue in this world system. You know, like Thanksgiving and Christopher Columbus um, discovering America, Christmas and Santa, all this stuff that the world gives you. They would rather just keep on going with, going with it rather than finding out what the truth is. Like the Bible says here, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. What if this was your last chance? Because we're not promised tomorrow. A lot of people die young, as we see every day in the news. For he saith, I have heard thee, in a time accepted, and in a day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Now. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. That's most people in the world, they want the blue pill. Even though you have showed them, even your own family, you showed them and told them, they want to take that blue pill and continue on in La La Land. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Most of your family members, they'll shun you away. They don't want to hear it. They want to continue on believing the lies. Even though they might know it's true, they still don't want to hearken because they love this world. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Then you have people like me using the red pill as a reference. We want the red pill. We want to seek the Lord. We want to know his ways. We want to know what pleased him. Remember, he only saved eight people during the days of Noah. For thus saith the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me, and ye shall live. When you begin to start studying the word of God, you start to see these things that the world celebrates, that the world does, it's not in the Bible. What these celebrity preachers preaches, it's not in the Bible. And the more you study, the deeper you get into the Bible, you start to see all these lies that were told to us. That's why a lot of people would rather go and take the blue pill because they'd rather live and believe lies. They like the lies that are told to them even though they might know the truth. Just like in the beginning of the Matrix clip, that guy wanted to go back into La La Land and forget everything, even though he knew what was right and wrong. He wanted to forget it all so he can enjoy himself in this world. And like I was told, 
And like this last clip I'm about to show y'all, y'all have to study it for yourself. You have to see it for yourself. 